Welcome to Tip TV ADVFN Tip of the Day. I'm joined by leading technician Zach Mir. Zach, today we're going to talk Hikma Pharma. Give me some bullet points, please. Well, the company had its own problems uh, in the summer, as you can see from, or you will see from the, uh, the daily chart there. So we peaked out to above £26. Then there was the extra hit of fears that a uh, Clinton administration uh, would uh, hurt the drugs um, sector. sector. In fact, it's actually the, uh, the Trump administration which would be hurting the uh, drug sector as well. But uh, it looks as though we bounced off the bottom of the range there, 16 pounds. We've broken back above the 50-day moving average. That's at 1766, the blue line there. And a nice turnaround. Above the 20-day average, 1877, I'm looking for a, uh, a move to the 200-day average at 2111. That's the black line there. So it looks like a nice range trade. OK, two questions. We had a broker upgrade this week. Yep. So on that, um, that's basically... Uh, Gets an over, the company gets an overweight uh, rating from JP Morgan, so that's uh, uh, boosted the share price. But I think this is much about uh, uh, factoring in uh, potential uh, headwinds from Trump, uh, trying to c cut costs, uh, drugs companies' costs, or the cost for drugs, uh, as anything else. Understood. Zach, thank you very much indeed. Going on to the trade of the day, the TV trade of the day, Dixon's car phone monthly charts shows uh, weak. Follow through after June sell of suggests potential for a rally. Uh, buy around three pounds fifty, objective three ninety, and stops above three thirty. Um, I'd be looking at the burn, looking to sell a rally, maybe to one sixty four double or one sixty four thirty. Uh, stop above one sixty four fifty, and um, look for the market to uh, over the next few days to head back down to one sixty three even. 162.50, somewhere like that. Well, the parallel of the, the, the pound weakness that I see is that any there's going to be a little bit of a sell-off now on the impulsiveness of the GBP. But we have said we're going to get new highs on the FTSE 100 repeatedly, right. and there's a currency effect behind that. There's also a commodity effect on that, Mike. Yeah. And as you're seeing, we're calling for higher commodities, and we know we're quite commodity heavy in the FTSE 100. So we are bullish. We took out the 7,150, which has been a 17-year resistance level which has been uh, mm. failed in 99. Uh, every, every major rally has failed there. We have now properly taken out that zone and um, come back. We will get strong support where we previously had resistance. So bias long on the FTSE 100, I think it's going to be a good year.